Today, we're gonna to make a Tesla style, back to the future-esque dashboard control console for a race car. Yeah. Okay, day two, Chrysler 300 dash build. We've got all of our cardboard templates cut out, kind of lined lightly on our galvanized steel, which is the only thing they had in stock at the steel store. We're using 22 gauge. I wish we could have gone a little thinner, but again, we were limited by what they had here in Southern Oregon. So let's start getting these cut out and test fit in the car, make the appropriate bins, start click going together.
Okay, here's where we're at on the project. Everything's in. Dashboard's been built. It's nothing special, just needs to be a dash cover. Held together with Clecos, so I can see if I can get it all out as one unit. Rivet it together, put it back in. The control board seems to fit great. iPad's at perfect viewing height, just under the dash line, but easily able to see. This will be the telemetry system. Of course, all the switches for the electrical component, components like windshield wipers, blower motor, dome light. All here, right at your fingertips. As of right now, the stock gauge cluster is going back in because it controls the keyless entry. So until we don't need the keyless entry, this will remain. Everything else should display on the iPad when it's wired up, with maybe the exception of the gas gauge, but I'm sure we can do a ton. But in miles per hour, G-Force, all of that will come up on your Tesla-esque display. Uh, so I guess at this point, time to blow it back apart, see if it comes out. didn't come out in one piece but that's okay it's at least out so let's get that thing painted cleaned up put back in get the sides on and done we'll do that outside the rig we should be done time to get started on the next project so let's see if we can make this fit in and out of the car all as one piece we'll keep the clicos on it for now after we verify it works then we'll rub it together I've gone ahead and off camera, built the in caps, nothing special, just like the rest of the sheet metal work. I didn't take a lot of uh, video during that portion, but go ahead, do some work on that, get some test fits back in and out of the car, make sure it all fits as one unit, rivet it together, then we can get this thing picked up today. Definitely doesn't look like this is going to go in as one piece. To clear the steering wheel where it's such the narrow part of the roll cage, there's just no way it's going to fit. As much as I want this to happen, uh, I'm going to have to assemble it with just a couple of rivets that they drill out so that the driver can see how it goes together and he can work with the electrical people. Kind of disappointed there, but I also need to work on the end caps, get them notch around the support beams. So I'll take this apart, slide it back together, and then we'll play again. Because I didn't go over it earlier, I first cut this out of cardboard. Got my basic template, vent, con vent configuration. This dash is oddly shaped underneath, so it's not a perfect smooth area up here. It's some couple of odd bends that makes that top a little disproportioned. But again, it's a it's a beater. It's really designed to uh, just be barely functional, not cosmetic. So with that, I welded on these little dash, ex dash extensions and put a rib nut in the top. I ran a string from each one of the A-pillar bars 
and that gave me a plumb line to where I could put all of these holes on the same height, kind of X, Y, and Z axis. Then just using three nuts or three bolts, the whole top goes together, gets secured and turns into the mounting for everything else. So I would say overall, this works pretty well if I use the correct nut to go in the hole. The correct, if I use the correct bolt to go in the hole. Get out of there. Come on, get me. On the ends of the dashes, just to clean up this gaping hole and not get people to cut themselves and they reach in or try to use it as a handle, I bent up these very quick end caps. Nothing pretty, just functional, but they don't fit because of this big brace. So just gonna quickly mark it out, go air nibble the parts out of the way that don't need to be there and get it so it fits. So here it is. This is where I'm going to hand it off. So electrical, not done yet. This is in its final mounting place. I think it'll end up staying this color. After the electrical's done, we'll need to go through, put the rest of the rivets in that will tighten the dash up a little bit more. But gauge clusters in place, good enough for racing. This is set telemetry system, dash height is perfect. Everything's just below the windshield line. So I'm extremely excited with how this turned out, given that we have a $100 budget. So super excited, and it's one step closer for 24 hours of lemons. Cool. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Oh, help me. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video on the 300 Chrysler Dash build. Uh, please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel out and helps me sustain projects and buy more gear to make better video content. So stay tuned, next episode coming out in the next couple of weeks, adding more usable storage space to a tent trailer. 
So uh, it's a pretty good one. Watch out for that. Talk to you guys soon.